Hey YouTube, Mike here. How we doing today? I hope you all had a very safe and productive week. I know mine was crazy, and I'm going to have another crazy week next week. Um, okay, a couple of things uh, before we start um, our build today. Today's build is going to be the mini sustainer storage. I want to get these all into one little area. Also, um, Joe, <clears throat> that I went to the Festool Connect with, uh, had that idea of the uh, mini sustainer humidor, and he sent me the actual uh, uh, measurements and on paper. He emailed it to me for the inside of the box, so that's going to be this white one. That'll be uh, video tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, um, I think you start, guys seen uh, the um, festival challenge. Uh, the video is up. Um, it was a great time. Uh, I hope every woodcraft in the United States does this. It, it was a phenomenal time. Met a lot of nice uh, new friends, and we, we just had a, we had a great time. A lot of laughs. I always wanted to do one of those challenges. I can see Fortune Fire or Top Chef or whatever, where you know they're announcing two and a half hours left, two hours left. It, it, it was great. Um, I had about ten minutes left, fifteen minutes left. Um, I did not win. Um, matter of fact, uh, Mike Maycott of Planked Woodworking and Carpentry won. It was a uh, Japanese inspired footstool. Really nice. I mean, it was really pretty. Nice joinery. Um, looked like something you would put like um, in your Japanese backyard near the koi pond. Very nice. So congratulations to Mike um, on the win. Okay, a um, couple quick things. And Milwaukee, for some reason, doesn't want to send anything till a few months or to Christmas of all their new stuff. And I know a friend of mine, MKM Holdings, out of Canada, he's been posting all his new stack system and his lights and everything new. Canada gets it, we don't. So far, I got their new screwdriver and I just picked up the headlamp. Um, 300 lumens. It's really nice. I saw quite a few reviews and at the uh, Milwaukee um, Expo. It was a really nice piece, and I finally was able to pick it up today at Home Depot. But, you know, it's like, hey, come on, send us some stuff here. I'm, I'm like biting at the bit for all the new Milwaukee stuff. All right, um, uh, let me just quickly show you uh, what I have in my mini sustainers, uh, just quickly. This is going to be the humidor. This one here, I keep my shims, my fast cat shims, my metric rulers, punches, um, levels, rulers. Um, in this one here, Whoop, turned it the wrong way. I have my leather stuff, my air chalk stuff. This is all my sanding stuff for my uh, pen turning. And in the bottom, let's make sure we don't dump the whole box over, is all my brad and my little tiny screws and nails, brass and uh, copper um, nails that I use for some specialty stuff. All right. Let's lock this up here, which I'm having a little problems. Here we go. Let's get this on the floor. Okay, today, basically, it's going to be a rectangle, 27 inches tall, 10 and 3 quarters wide, 6 and 3 quarters deep. The shelves are 3 and a quarter inches. I already cut up some spacers already to lock it in. It's going to be uh, just glued and uh, brad nailed, and um, I'm going to put it back on it, and I think I'm going to hang it on the wall over there so that I can grab all the little mini sustainers. Okay, uh, again, we're going to start off a little shop safety. Safety glasses, I wear mine all the time. And my new little rubber hook, hearing protection. Um, okay, YouTube, let's make a little sawdust. First thing, we're going to rip down the pieces.
All right, let me tell you what that was about with the hose that just popped off the saw stop. I forgot about this. Check out my Instagram, Michael Electronico. Yesterday, every Friday night, my wife, me, and my son. Uh, I dropped my son off at that Big Daddy Games where we play Warhammer and he plays his card games. And then my wife and I go out to dinner. We were leaving, opened up the garage. I'm going to walk out. There's a snake nestled on the garage door. Instead of slithering towards the dirt, it takes a dart. I guess it wanted to use my saw stop. And it gets into my garage. We spent 15 minutes, me, my son, and my wife, tearing the garage apart, trying to get the snake out. Look at my Instagram and take a look at the garage. I mean, I, I started up my power blower. I stepped on it. I actually got to step on it to try to grab it and throw it, but it got into the saw stop. Went under the compressor, went under my router. I mean, I tore the garage apart and finally got it with a metal bar and then was able to get rid of it. But that's why the um, hose popped off is because I started throwing everything on top of the saw stop trying to get at this little slithering thing that's in my garage. So that's the reason that thing popped off. All right, let's, uh, let's get to the Capex and uh, get some, uh, some pieces. I hate snakes. You know, you're so used to vacuums from Festool. And here, you I don't even see it. My, my door opened up. Two. I was looking inside the saw stop for the snake. My son was here. My, door, my wife was outside seeing if it slid it out. And I'm chasing this thing around. Finally, I got it behind the compressor. I, did, I wounded it when I stepped on it. So that pretty much got it. 
let's uh, get that sanding block. I'm hoping the Orlando store is a, um, a woodcrafter in a woodcraft in Orlando, and I had uh, a couple of subscribers um, that live there. <coughs> They're going to talk to, uh, I guess, the Orlando store, and maybe they'll do it, and I'll take a ride out there. It's only uh, about an hour and a half away, and my wife and I can go to downtown Disney, which we love. But yeah, check out my Instagram channel, Michael Laconico. You can see two pictures of the garage, how messed up it was. But I got them. That was my second, that's the second snake I had in here. It was before I even had a YouTube channel. I had old cabinetry, gladiator cabinetry there and a gladiator workbench. And I went, actually I was getting rid of the stuff to start redoing the garage. And I moved one of the cabinets and there was some big snake wrapped around the leg of the um, uh, workbench. Scared the living crap out of me. I hit that thing with a 2x4. Um, I actually have a um, 22 caliber that has those um, tiny little buckshot, but I'm thinking I I'm not going to blast my compressor with this thing. I mean, if it's out in the open or in the grass, backyard, yeah, but not, uh, not here in the garage. I don't feel like uh, putting a big hole in my compressor. These woodpecker precision clamping angles, they are phenomenal. For a quick reference of 90 degrees, uh, not expensive, um, they work very, very well. Now this is going to be seven, and on the top I have a box that I have actually um, some leather strapping inside of one of these plastic boxes for like when you're making leather hinges and stuff. Um, so I'm going to put that up at the top here, uh, just to get it it's sitting on top of the refrigerator, so at least it'll get out of the way. Yeah, we had a really, really nice time at the Festival Challenge. Like I said, a lot of nice guys. Um, the area festival rep was there.
how you can't go wrong with these block with blocks. You can't go wrong with blocks. You'll always get it as long as the blocks are even. You'll always get whatever you're building nice and uniform. Half inch uh, sandable plywood. You know, nothing expensive. Works out nice. And as soon as it gets cooler, I'm going to be starting the painting. I got that uh, color um, primer that should match the Festool off white. So I'm going to start that. I'm not doing that while it's raging hot here in Florida. Looks like I'm warm shoe. Yeah, the picture a second, cut one more up, start up the... Shop shirt. I sweated through every single one of them. I had to clean up the garage this morning. I didn't bother cleaning it up yesterday. But at least it gave me a chance to get out all the leaves and go through everything that I don't want here in the garage. As one of my subscribers and friends on Instagram said, when I should be answered, he goes, you didn't want the snake crawling crawl up your leg while you were ripping something on the saw stop.
Yeah, I know that tennis. There we go. A little, little storage. All right, let's get the back on it. And I still got to mark them all. And I went on their website and got, you know, their markings. You go on there and custom do some markings and stuff. I'm not leaving the humidor here. That's, um, I got another one of these tennis ones that has, um, actually small hinges and stuff, uh, barrel hinges and cup hinges and stuff. Um, that's going to go um, on that one. See what I got here. Some scrap. It wasn't too steady. A little drunk.
Turn the camera. All right, YouTube. There it is. Uh, now I gotta find a place to mount it. We'll do a little more sanding, and uh, that should be it. We should be uh, mounting it in a little while. All right. Next video is going to be that um, humidor in that uh, Festool sustainer, and um, I think my uh, one of the next videos I'm going to do is um, setting up and calibrating the MFT3 table. I actually had a qu a, quite a few um, requests on that, um, so I think that will be probably a video coming up in the future. All right, YouTube. Uh, again, thank you very much for all the uh, likes, the comments, and the subscribes. Um, I'm closing it on 2,000. So, uh, really, um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, love the comments. Love the comments. I will answer every one. If you want a Mike Woodshop sticker, I will include my email at the bottom. And just email me your mailing address, and I will send you one. And I'll put um, a link to these um, woodpecker uh, the clamping angles, uh, Woodcrafter sells them, and I also, I think I got these from Rockler. Okay? All right, YouTube, um, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a nice weekend, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.